Executive, a former colleague in the Virginia House of Delegates, our Lieutenant Governor, Winston Earl Sears. Good afternoon to all of you. I want to just read a quick passage from our Bible and uh, then pray. But before I do that, I, there's a song by Kenny Rogers that so, sums up what we know to be true. And it says this really quickly. He was only 10 years old when daddy died in prison. I looked after Tommy because he was my brother's son. I still recall the final words my brother said to Tommy. Son, my life is over but yours has just begun. Promise me, son, not to do the things I've done. Walk away from trouble if you can. Now, it won't mean you're weak if you turn the other cheek. I hope you're old enough to understand, son, you don't have to fight to be a man. And As we look around and we see what's going on, and the reason why you're here is because you're concerned. And uh, the other day, we were having a meeting with some returning citizens and former gang members, and, and, and we heard Pastor Val, gunshots, gunshots every hour until we, we had to get up and go see about the people, and bloodshot and gunshots and everything. Well. This is what Jesus said, healthy people don't need a doctor, sick people do. And that was from Luke 5:31. So if you'll bow with me, Lord, we thank you so much. We're here having a conversation with you because that's what prayer is about. And Lord, we've tried to do it in other ways, but now we're asking you to be a part of it because you love people better than we could ever love them. You don't want your children to die. And here, all of your leaders are here, and we're saying, we don't know what to do, but our eyes are on you. You know exactly what, what needs to happen. Lord, you know that our young men especially need their fathers in their homes. They need that affirmation, and that's what they're looking for. They're looking for that, that support and our young girls, Father, they're looking for that love. And when they don't find it, Father, they turn to other things. But Lord, we have leaders here who are saying that they're willing to work together. They're willing to work across political lines. They're willing to work because if one person isn't safe, then none of us is safe because we know that crime moves everywhere. So thank you, Lord that we're going to try to make sure we stop the blood spilling so that if they don't even get to make it, Lord, that that some of them, they don't even get to make it to prison. No, the graveyard is their last stop. So thank you, Father, for what you're going to do. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. And now I introduce to you our governor, who is the leader of all this, and thank God we finally have that leadership. Governor Glenn Youngkin.